Hey Seahawks, welcome back to another episode of Seahawk Central Sports. With baseball starting up and the end of basketball season just around the corner, our spring sports teams have been in full swing. The men's basketball team went 0-2 on their last road trip of the season. On Thursday, Martin Linson's career-high 20 points weren't enough to lift the Seahawks past Northeastern as they lost 71-63, splitting the season series with the Huskies. On Saturday, the boys took on Hofstra, the frontrunners of the CAA. Foul trouble became an issue early for the Seahawks as they tallied 14 fouls in the first half alone. This stuck them in an early hole, and with no way out, they dropped the game 78-64. The team's three remaining games of the season will all be played here in Trask as they look to end things on a high note. Interim head coach Rob Burke will look to take advantage of his last few opportunities to prove that he's the right man for the job. Our women's basketball team suffered a tough loss against Towson this past Friday, losing 78-45. to The stories in the scoreboard on this one, the girls just could not keep up with the Tigers, who evened out their record with a lopsided win. The Hawks were led in scoring by Ayana Vason with 18 points. No other Lady Hawks scored in the double digits. The team then played James Madison University and racked up another game in the loss column. Carol Ann Obusek scored a career-high 19 points in the game, followed by Lacey Suggs with 13 points, six coming from behind the three line. The girls lost 76 to 52. The Lady Hawks are currently sitting in an overall record of six and 18 while approaching the final five games of the regular season. Baseball is back, and for our Seahawks, they look to complete a 3 p SCAA champs. They started the season last weekend in a Seahawks Classic against Dayton and Bryant. Game one versus Dayton will prove to be a wild one as the Seahawks came back from two runs down in the ninth inning and stole the game with the always exciting walk-off walk, courtesy of designated hitter Ronald Evans. UNCW will take the win in game one, 10 to nine. Day two belonged to junior pitcher Landon Rupp, who struck out 11 Bulldogs as the Seahawks will use a three-run third inning to propel themselves to victory by a score of three to two. Sunday was doubleheader day as game one on the day saw the Seahawks sleepwalk through the early morning game and the Flyers took advantage and then some with a score of 9-2. The Seahawks would wake up in round two against Bryant and take the game 4-2 to start the season with a 3-1 record. The Seahawks would continue to play host this week, first against Coastal Carolina and then the Hughes Brothers Challenge will welcome Bowling Green, Butler and Marshall. The men's tennis team took on the road this past weekend, starting the trip off in Jacksonville, Florida, to face off against University of North Florida on Friday afternoon. The Seahawks were swept in the doubles column and only picked up two wins from singles. The two Seahawks who came out on top of their opponents were Davide Incinetti and Bruno Cala that have recently been playing exceptionally well these past few matchups. However, it wasn't enough to give the Seahawks a win on Friday, but things were a different story in the next matchup against Charleston College. It was tighter than my bank account on Sunday as the Seahawks won in a close one, four to three. The Seahawks doubles team came out and do what they do best and won two of the three games in the doubles column coming from Bruno Cala, Daniel Groom, and Michael Copeland and Davide Incinetti. Also got to see another win in the singles column along with Daniel Groom and Michael Copeland to add to the success of the Seahawks. They even out their record four and four after this past weekend and look forward to facing a two-game homestand starting off with UNC and Greensboro. Good luck, boys. UNCW softball competed in the Plainsman Invitational this past weekend, losing all five of their games. They played Alabama State twice and Auburn University three times. The Lady Hawks are currently sitting at a record of one and eight, and they'll host the Seahawks Softball Classic next from February 21st through the 23rd. This past Saturday was the first home game for the women's tennis team as they faced the Appalachian State Mountaineers that currently had a two-game winning streak going into Saturday's matchup. Unfortunately, the Seahawks lost 5-2, to two, only winning two of their singles columns and one from the doubles. Sarah Morell and Sarah Horn were the only two victors in the doubles, winning 6-3 to three against a few experienced Mountaineers in Sasha Piercy Vaughn and Virginia Pogge. Celeste Batu and Sarah Morell were the two Seahawks who came out with wins on Saturday, but unfortunately wasn't enough to put up a dub in the wins column. The team looks forward next to traveling to Campbell University for the next matchup. Now that you're all caught up, don't forget to follow us on our Twitter and Instagram pages. And that's at Teal TV underscore sports. You can catch new episodes every Friday at 3 on Facebook and YouTube, and that's at UNCW Teal TV. That's all for this week, but until next time, remember to be real. And keep it teal.
See you next week, Seahawks.